What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Don't mind the hat, man. I have a really messy head and I thought I'd go a little school boy Q here. Now today, <laughs> Apple released a new Mac. It's gonna be coming out, I believe in the fall. Correct me if I'm wrong. Nonetheless, let's get this video underway. My first time watching this, so I don't know what's gonna happen. And here on YouTube, if you don't upload content, like when it comes out, like products and stuff, it's like Ricky Bobby said, if you ain't first, you last. We have created a new, high-performance Mac for our professional users. Wait, 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 okay. From the side, this thing looked like a cheese grater. <laughs> to enable a wide range of uses. Oh my god, a cheese grater, okay. Looks cool customization. though. Is that two big ass handlebars, that, that's to the pretty Mac cool. Pro design is a precision stainless steel space frame that also functions as handles and feet. It is the structural foundation for an architecture designed for absolute flexibility and uncompromising utility. The space frame provides 360 degree access to the interior. Like, I don't know what kind of Macs you got. I got the light Mac Pro Pro. Now, I never bought a whole computer, like a whole big ass computer. I've been laptops, I'm a laptop guy. And I can't imagine the price on this. I don't know what the price is on this. Hopefully they say it. But this looks really unique, man. As well as multiple mounting points for a variety of different components. To meet the diverse demands of our professional users, the dual-sided logic board is built for configuration and expansion. The new Xeon processor has up to 28 cores and can run continuously at maximum frequencies without constraint. 12 DIMM slots accommodate up to 1.5 terabytes of RAM for the most demanding tasks. And eight available PCIe slots allow users to build a system that fits their needs. For many pro workloads, graphics performance is critically important. So we've created a new graphics architecture, the Mac Pro Expansion Module, or MPX Module. With two GPUs and an MPX module, it's the world's most powerful graphics card. And Mac Pro is designed to accommodate two modules with up to four total GPUs. To transform video editing, we've developed Apple Afterburner, a programmable accelerator card. Is this like for gaming and stuff? Or like, is this like you get to pick the parts you want and you put it in the computer? Cause that's what they're showing. Now I'm not a big um, tech guy, so I, don't, I have no idea. But if it is, you can pick what you want in your computer. That, that'll be pretty sick. It boosts the performance of ProRes and ProRes RAW video, eliminating the need for proxy workflows. For maximizing the performance of every component, Mac Pro has a 1.4 kilowatt power supply and advanced thermal architecture. Three large impeller fans quietly channel air from front to back, while a blower pulls heat from the memory. This system eliminates the need for fans on individual components, keeping sound levels remarkably low. You know, one of the main reasons I don't buy these big computers, like after a while, the fans, you start hearing them. Like even if it's a Microsoft, I never had a Mac computer, so I wouldn't know. But the Microsoft computers sometimes tend to have like a loud noise after like five years of use, I guess they're done. You need to get a new computer. After a while, it gets annoying and it starts to overheat and you need to get a new laptop. And I wonder if it's the same thing. The thermal system is enclosed by an aluminum housing that slides over the frame and completes the architecture. Its unique three-dimensional vents are machined on both internal and external surfaces. The resulting lightweight lattice pattern maximizes airflow while creating an extremely rigid structure. Our preoccupation with utility and function defines the design of Mac Pro. The stainless steel handles and I.O. ports are easy to reach and optional wheels help enable complete access while also making it easy to move between workspaces. To complement the capabilities of Mac Pro, we've created an equally uncompromising new display, Pro Display XDR. A 32-inch edge-to-edge panel is housed in a machined aluminum unibody enclosure. The same unique and functional lightweight lattice frame pattern sick. also acts as a heatsink for the system. 
With over 20 million pixels delivering extreme dynamic range, Pro Display XDR is the first 6K. I didn't even know display. there was 5K, man. I'm living under the a rock. The backlighting system includes a large array of blue LEDs that generate exceptional brightness and modulate independently based on the content. Along with an intricate series of custom lenses and geometrically optimized reflectors. All right, y'all. All, all this stuff that they're adding on to it, man. Dude, this, I can already tell, is going to be easily over a grand. Maybe two grand. Maybe two grand. This system literally shapes and controls the light, achieving industry-leading brightness while dramatically reducing blooming. In addition to a P3-wide color gamut and remarkable contrast ratio, Pro Display XDR also has better off-axis contrast thick. than any like, LCD. My glass is thick. The display magnetically attaches to it's a stand magnetic? made from a single solid aluminium extrusion. A precise mechanism in the arm counterbalances the display, Bro. making the height and angle adjustments feel almost weightless. Allowing for even greater adjustability, the display works in both landscape and portrait orientation. That's crazy. With Mac Pro and Pro Display XDR, we've created a system defined by utility and flexibility. They represent two very new, very powerful, highly engineered professional tools. All right, how much is it? Did I say the price? Well, let's find the price. Wait, so I just found the price. Starts at six thousand dollars apple what you guys doing man like who, who are you guys trying to sell this product to i can't afford this hundreds of people can't afford this apple y'all need to bring the prices down dude i said two thousand dollars max i opened up this thing it says starting at six thousand dollars holy shit. but wait there's more apparently <laughs> They have a stand, a monitor stand, sold separately only for one grand. Seven G's, bro. I don't know if this thing is gonna sell, to be quite honest, man. Now, I know there's a lot of Apple fans out there, but come on, y'all. Y'all really gonna spend seven grand on a computer? Don't get me wrong, the computer is badass. If I had the money, I'll probably buy it, but damn, bro. Seven G's, bro. Well, that's it for today, guys. Thank you guys for watching. That's my reaction to this new Apple computer Mac Pro shit. I'm passing on this. It's out of my budget. You see the way my bank account is set up. I have a um, checkings and I have a, a savings, and um, I currently have nothing. <laughs> so that's it for me, man. I'll see you guys Wednesday. This is crazy. Good computer, though. Very nice. I give it that. But seven grand, bro. Ain't happening.